Remember that when the matter came from the Ministry of National Security to the Ministry of Finance, the recommendation for the write-off, and the Ministry of Finance uh, brought it to Cabinet so that it could go to the next House meeting. Carlos Perdomo was in Taiwan, had been on a month's holiday, so he wasn't there, and there was no opportunity for him to say, well, I just want to tell Cabinet that this is my son. I saw the name Perdomo, and I figured it must be a member of the Perdomo family, but that's an extended family, that's a, a large clan. So I did not know that it was actually the Cab Sex son. If I had known, I'm not quite sure what my reaction would have been because I hear you and I accept that this write-off has left a very bad taste in the mouth of Belizeans. But there's a degree of misunderstanding. Mr. Joshua Perdomo, not sticking to the agreement he made is deplorable. But with respect to government and any institution, writing off uncollectible debts is par for the course. You do that, you don't leave this untidy situation. And what you have to remember is that it is not as though the write-off was done while there was still any possibility of collecting from Mr. Perdomo. The matter had become statute barred, so there was no chance. Even if Perdomo returned to the country, there was no chance of collecting the money because it had become statute barred.